Hello everyone, it's Animation4. Welcome to a new... I realized as soon as I jumped that was a dumb idea. Actually, I haven't played Survivor in a while. A new uh, Minecraft Survivor Let's Play series we are playing, FTB Continuum. Um, so if you don't know about this mod pack, it is a 1.12.2 mod pack. So much later than anyone's I've ever really played. And the idea behind it is it is an expert survival quest um, difficulty driven, I want to say is the word. Think of it like Infinity Evolved. It's a lot, it's a lot along those lines where the quests have been... No, no, no. No. Where well, the quests have been... Quests and uh, recipes have been changed to follow a specific uh, progress pattern. And there is a quest book, which I'm holding right here. Better quest, A better questing book. I, I really like this book because you can change the theme. So we're in, we're in dark mode, so of course. It's, it's so much better. Um, so you have the quest list. We got all these... Big, big old, big old list of quests, which it's good. Um, and also, we can bind the quest book to a button. I have it bound to the home key, so we actually don't even need this item. I'm gonna throw it in the river, and I'm gonna press the home button, and the quest book comes up. So that's great. It's it's, it's so much um, so much more convenient. Uh, so obviously, I'm punching wood. I have played this a little bit. Uh, I did a short stream of it. Just Looking at the pack, giving it a quick once over, seeing how it would how it would fare, and I actually really liked what I saw so far. Um, so I have done about three of the quests, so I have a general idea of what to expect here at the beginning. Uh, the first thing is we need a ton of wood, and this quest does actually not have vein miner, which is I uh. Short story about that. I actually saw the quest didn't have vein miner. Is like you know that's kind of annoying especially if i'm going to be streaming this i wouldn't want a vein miner just to make things go at a reasonable speed and i'm not getting any apples which is unfortunate so i put vein miner on it played a little bit like yeah this vein miner definitely helped i'm like chopping trees instantly it's great oh yeah quest complete i forgot we needed 16 logs um uh so i got vein miner on it's helping me i'm like mining veins super fast Breaking trees super fast, and then I then I go into the quest book, and right here this quest, you know we had ore excavation. The ore excavation is a mod that basically acts like a vein miner unlock. So you craft these items, and it basically acts like vein miner. All right, so let, let's also I randomly generated this world, uh, and was like, hey, it's a village here. That's it. That's all I know about this world. Could be awful. But we got villagers at least. Uh, which means we can build a market, which should be helpful for early game. Uh, or else we have food. Yay. For early game food. And just food in general. Uh, I'm going to stop saying... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to stop saying... Uh. I got string, coal, and fish. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. Jeez. The village is flooded. Who who would have done this? I'll, I'll save you all. Also, it's gonna become night soon, so I wouldn't really wanna uh, get these these quests going or find a safe place to be where the villagers will not get all eaten. Cause that'd be bad. I'll probably just end up running away from this village and going over there somewhere and chilling a hole for the night. Ooh, what's this? Hops. Oh. It's Make some beer. That'll be fun. We, we can actually make some uh, pretty nice uh, food with this wheat. Which is bread, but still. Bread is nice. Oh, they also, they also have a tree. A little tree farm. They also have a living on a cliff. A lot of coffee. Lots, lots of good things. Ooh, what's this? Oh! <gasps> Very nice. Um, don't take the light, just take the oatmeal. But they're all hunkering down for the night. I'm going to go do the same by digging up some dirt and making a cave. 
far away from this, so hopefully zombies don't get to the villagers. So let me explain a little bit about the beginning of this pack. Um, first of all, it is an expert level pack similar to uh, Infinity Evolved, like I said. If you remember Infinity Evolved, the early game was actually very tricky because there was a specific list of things you had to do in a specific order. Mainly, the, there's a specific first power gen we could make. Could do anything else but that specific power gen. Ooh, sheep. Ah. Uh, um, I also need gravel. I should be looking for gravel, but I don't see any. I'll be some by the... Hey. Perfect. Um, flint's actually really important early on. I'm gonna dig myself a hole. Spend the night. It's... <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully you do better than I did last run, because last, or my, my test run, because my test run I spent like three nights in underground holes. But I got four pieces of gravel. Plenty of wood. Or hopefully enough wood. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna look at some of these quests. So, first of all, let me explain. You get two planks per piece of wood. That is... The biggest thing and you get two sticks per plank so an entire log is a total of two sticks you can craft wooden tools however the wooden tools have two durability use up one durability and it drops down to zero use another use up another durability and it breaks so you can't really use wooden tools so they have something else for you we're going to go into these quests to take a look we also get a you know, stone axe and torches i'm an idiot it's fine. Now I'm looking at the quest book. So now we go to the EFAB, which is a very big, very big part of the mod pack. The EFAB is a new modular multi block machine that works like an advanced crafting table. Several items are only craftable through the EFAB. Um, to start with, you only need the EFAB crafting grid to get stone tools. Or better, you must have the armory upgrade installed. To craft the armory upgrade, you place it inside one of the nine upgrade slots under the crafting grid in the EFAB GUI. The recipes may require blocks like the gearbox added to the multi-block instead of the upgrade. Yep, yep, yep. The multi-block can be extended with the EFAB bases, blocks, and the multi-block. Yeah, so the EFAB is basically a massive crafter that starts out as a simple crafting grid. So first of all, we're going to make ourselves a simple crafting grid. Plop it down right here. I'm going to look up the recipe for an EFAB. No, it's, it's cheap. I use up most of my wood, but it's cheap. We'll see exactly what this thing is. If I place it down, you'll see it is a crafting grid. I actually can't break it now because it takes a pickaxe to break. Oh, that was, that was smart. Um, so that, that was the first part of the quest. The quest has multiple parts. Next, we did an armory upgrade, which we can do. Can't do. <laughs> it takes string. Oh, where did I get string before? I think I got it from cotton. Right, so we can't do this tonight, but... We have to make a specific thing. We gotta make a wooden ayat. It's a, it's a paxel. It's an axe, pickaxe, shovel, hoe, and sword. I don't have enough wood for that. Let's see what I do have enough wood for. Uh, one, two. The shovel. I'm actually really close. I need one more log and I could have done it, but no. So now I gotta wait for day. Nothing really else to do. Actually, I think there are maybe some quests I can complete. Uh, no. Six wood. Um. Let's update. And this is a. Uh... Yeah, we did it. Completed the quest. Um, that was a, this is the instructions to the quest quest. Uh, what? Oh, that was that one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop saying, uh, to wait for day. I'll be back in a little bit when day comes. Oh, I missed it, but a skeleton was just burning. Clearly, um, it is, it is day. Also, this mod pack has Spice of Life, so, um, 
you get you get diminishing returns from not diversifying your food consumption. Eating a ton of carrots isn't necessarily a good thing. All right, so it, it is day. That was a bad idea. That's a good idea. Uh, I have this axe to kill things, but I'm going to go on despawn strats and just run. I saw that creeper. Also, a burning baby zombie. You know, we're good. Despawn strats for the win. Creeper right there. What's up, guy? I'm gonna kill these sheep for the for a bed. But in case you were confused. Alright. Cool. So all I have to do is find that spot again. Hopefully I can do that. Yes, so the armor upgrade will allow me to make stone tools, and of course, like it said, stone tools don't actually use stone, but use flint. Which is why gravel is really important. So the first thing we're gonna actually make is the shovel, which is Convenient that I have a single piece of flint. However, first I need to get to string, which is harder than it sounds because I need to, need to kill spiders or find cotton. Never mind, we good. <laughs> oh, that's incredibly convenient. Where was I? I think right here. I think that's my hole. Is that way. That way. I have no sense of relativity. It's my hole. It's not my hole. I have waypoints. I'm aware I have waypoints. Oh, that's because I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, go diagonal this way. Yeah, it's by that by that fallen log. Yep, yep. Chop another tree. I need so much wood at the beginning. Just gotta chop trees forever. Oh, there's an apple. Very nice. Gray sheep. I was confused at what that was. This looks familiar, maybe. Ah, here it is. I I got the string, and I got some more wood. So with this, I can make the fraxel thing. Oh, is it really shaped? No, it's shapeless. What am I missing? There's two shovels there. Why did I make two shovels? I need an axe. Oops. At the ayat. This I need two logs. Oh, I need I need, a, I need a flint for the the ayat. For this thing. Uh, I'll use this wooden shovel. And you can see that stone tools break right away. Right, so I'm going to farm two pieces of flint from these six gravel. Hopefully, it doesn't take. I think flint's one in ten. I shouldn't take too long. Then, yeah, the first thing I'll make is a shovel. Make this go faster. Actually, can I craft flint? I never actually looked. Three gravel makes a flint. Hey, look at that. We got two flint. Oops. It does save your recipes. Was it sticks? Upgrade. Yeah, it is sticks. Two sticks, two logs, this fancy thing, two string, and we'll craft that. You see, it, there was a time there of zero seconds, so it didn't actually it didn't actually take any time. But some things later on will start to take time, and they'll actually be a factor to factor into making things. Uh, so zero seconds makes the stone shovel. Cool. Let's dig up some of this gravel, staying above water, so I can get faster digging, of course. The 
And now that I know I can craft into flint, I'm not going to be worried about what actually I get, since three gravel make a flint anyway. But more flint is better, because I either get a flint or a third of a flint. It looks like we got a decent amount here. Let's see what we get. Yeah, there's a few pieces. Should be enough for a pickaxe. Because, I said before, this is an expert level pack, so it's not going to hold your hand. And I think my favorite thing when I started playing is that fact. So you see, we, we, got, introduction, we got an introduction to everything. We know how to make uh, stone tools now, essentially. Um, I can make myself a nice stone pickaxe. And I can make sticks. I can make sticks. I can make a stone pickaxe. Able to do that. So it's the next logical thing is the next uh, task, which is a uh, gearbox, which takes 13 iron. So it just, I was really surprised by this when I started. And then I realized quickly, it's like, this is a good thing. It's not, it's not slowly guiding me into what I have to do. It is throwing me off a cliff and saying, have fun. Uh, so the next thing we actually need is 13 iron. So, we have, we have time. I'm actually not worried about getting that iron yet. And I don't really expect to go caving this episode because, as you can tell, I'm at 3 hunger. And have not much food in my inventory. So we are going to use this village to hopefully remedy that. This does have spice of life, like I said. So the more you eat, the worse it gets. But we can make a lunchbox once we get some iron. It takes eight iron to make a lunchbox. That'll help organize things better. If I do need a variety of food types, which is the big thing. And I didn't keep the flax seed, so I can't regrow that flax. Darn. Oh, also before before we go any further, I'm gonna make the bed just so I can sleep if we get to that point and not lose all my villagers. Rice. You trapped in there? Yeah, there. You guys are a little stuck, huh? Fifteen string. <laughs> these twenty-one wheat. Oh, I can do that. I can do these. These are good. Um. I could pick some wheat and get an emerald. I'm actually really interested in an emerald because it'll allow me to get a market. Look at, I don't know what else it takes, but a market. It takes any wool and some planks. Yeah, so it's pretty cheap except for the emerald. So if I can get that wheat, we'll be really set. Because I'll be able to just... Um, a market lets you purchase seeds. So I don't need to go find a seed I want. And basically it means... Soybeans, because soybeans are the most powerful crop in the game. That should be enough wheat for the first emerald. Of course, you need emeralds to buy things, but no RNG. Good. It's pretty good. Uh, 21. Oh, here we go. What a deal! Alright. Night is falling. However, I do need... Um, some more wool. Which is here? Sure. Uh, it's, it's just... It's still considered a crop. Yeah, uh, this is a fruit. Fruit still doesn't give me much. All these give me small amounts of food. It's awful. I can't make a juicer yet. I'm gonna go get some... Four more sheep. So I can make the market. And then from there we'll head back. Dang bees. There are also bees in this pack. We'll head back and build the market. So, now we, now, we, now that we have that plan, let's talk about further down the line plans. So what I want from this pack, obviously we got the, the, uh, the expert level questing. What I want to do, I want two bees. I've, I've always seen 
I've seen people do bees. I've been like, yeah, they're, they're doing some bees. Um, that's a fancy bed. I've never done them myself. I've done them a little bit, but not enough to know the joys of bees doing bees. This, it's night. Let me sleep. Sheep, the sheep will guard me. So, a lot of my automation later on in the game, I hope will be. F I want to be focused around bees, using bees to make using bees to generate resources for all that stuff because i'm pretty sure you can use get like you're pretty sure you can get like iron and stuff for, from from bees i think it'd be a lot of fun to just massively over automate them to the point where i can get anything i want from bees it'd be something different to try whether or not it's possible i don't actually know yet but it, it'd be fun and what's the point of playing the mod pack if you're not planning on having fun? Other than that, I just want to get another emerald so I can actually spend money at the market. Actually, can you sell things to the market? I'm sure you cannot sell things to the market. That'd be so OP. I'd be like, I got 20 seeds. Give me 20 emeralds. Um, let's put the thing right here. Craft table... Uh, this yeah. So yeah all the seeds here is there anything other than seeds oh you also get the saplings that's good all the sapling types Back to seeds. Alright, so yeah, so there's all the seeds. And ideally soybean would be the one I go for because soybean is basically meat. Um but every kind of meat. So if you need if you need raw pork chop, you can use soybeans. If you need raw beef, you can use soybeans. If you need raw fish, you can use soybeans. It's very good for that. There's some weed up there I can pick. Get one more emerald from that farmer, you'll get a soybean seed. How long is this episode going to run? Oh, it's, get, it's getting there, but we have a little bit more time. Because there's one more thing I want to show off that's going to be pivotal to farm growth. Well, not dying from fall damage. Enough. I ah, at 12? Come on. Not enough. thought there was a ton up there. Apparently, I can't count. Not a ton. I'm just use this bone meal. Need 21 wheat, I think. Ah. Cool. So this should give me the emerald. If this is the guy. Not the guy. I can find the guy. They st still both, they just, they're not still both stuck down here. They've learned. They're close though. Over here. You the guy? You the guy? Are you the guy? Yes, give me your emerald. Alright. Soybean seed. It's like that. Why is that no longer black over there? It normally isn't. <laughs> what is a giga pickle? That's awesome. I kind of want a Giga Pickle. It is just hilarious. Asparagus. Brussels sprouts. Orca. Cauliflower. I know you can get it from here because it actually shows in the recipe thing. Peas. Soybean. A. Hey. We got our soybean seed. Plant it right here. Get a bunch of soybeans. And finish off the bone meal. Uh, so, the best way to get 
the best way to grow your crops is actually not like this. So this actually came to a shock to me because I started, I set up a farm like this the first time and then realized very quickly that's not how you get things done. That's how you, that's how you think you want to get things done, but that's not how you get things done. What we're going to do is going to make myself a hoe. And then pick this back up. And I'll stick this. And can I take this? X. Um. <laughs> finally, got, finally completed that quest. And I get, oh, a loot chest. We'll open that, we'll open that later. The way you actually do things. Um, bad idea, but okay. I need, um, I need flat land. There's no flat land around here. It's actually a huge village. What about over there? Am I looking the right way? Yeah, is that flat? Oh, that's helpful. That's really helpful. I'm just going to show it off first, and then figure, I'll figure out exactly where I want to go next episode because I'm already, I started talking like, is this going to get long, and I started getting long for that. So when we start uh, tilling soil, there we go. We got what's called a worm. And these worms are great. What they do, you place them on soil, they till it for you, and water it. So you can place it anywhere you want, and you have watered tilled soil. Which also bone meals the crops. If I plant some soybeans here, every now and again, it will apply bone meal effect to the crops. So I, I don't need... I do need to till a bunch of soil, because this guy didn't give me any more. But I don't actually need to put it next to water. I might, just for the sake of having that extra buffer there. But I don't need to. Also, sometimes when you plant a worm, when it tills the soil, it'll find more worms. So you could just have an infinite worm supply if they find each other. Yeah, see there, it, it was a thing. Um, so that that's how that's how we're gonna do crops. Again, I'll probably put it next to water because sometimes it dries up because it doesn't stack water and the worm has to fix that. So that might be a little bit of benefit to being next to water, but not much. But that's gonna end off the episode there. Next episode, we will be setting up an actual place to put all these farms, not in the middle of this hill. Looking at what kind of things we want to cook, because now that we've got these soybeans, again, soybeans are crazy because they count as every type of meat. Um, so yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's pretty nice. Oh, it's only one, never mind. The next episode, we'll be doing that, hopefully getting into some caving, because again, still haven't... The next quest is really 11 iron, so that's kind of, it's a lot of iron to get with the stone tools. But yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any ideas that you think would be fun to do during this series. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.